Okay, here's the thing. So, like, I just decided I was participating in the Tome Topple. I don't really know why, but, like, well, I do have a reason. So, last night, it was around 1 o'clock, and I was just kind of cruising through YouTube and then through my Instagram, too, and I saw a bunch of hashtags being, like, hashtag Tome Topple, and I was like, what the heck is Tome Topple? So, then I looked it up on YouTube, and I was like, Tome Topple announcement videos and then I found the people who made Tome Topple and I was like whoa this is a read a thought about big books and I love big books and I love participating in things like this um no I don't why am I lying I don't like participating in readathons but apparently when I like barely know about them I tend to get excited so I think I like participating in readathons I just don't think I just think I'm lying to myself anyways okay so I decided I'm going to be participating in the Tome Topple and is it a readathon? Do I call it Tome Topple Readathon? See, I don't know anything about it. I know some of the challenges. I don't think I'm following those. But I finished reading Clockwork Prince, the second book to the Infernal Devices last night. So I thought that I would count that towards my Tome Topple because it was exactly 500 pages. And I think it's 500 pages and above. I think I have to look that up too. And then I just posted on Instagram about me participating in the Tome Topple. So I'm excited. I can't wait. I'm already participating in the Indian Readathon that's like happening in between the Tome Topple, and I'm not reading any books that are 500 pages or over for that readathon. So that's going to be a problem. But then also, I just got Midnight Sun coming in the mail today. So I'm also going to be able to read that. And then I have a bunch of other books I can use to figure out the Tome Topple. And then. Clockwork Princess is another book and I don't really have to read all of them I just have to read some tomes that I've been um that have been on my TBR for a while because I'm very excited and I can't wait and I've already been talking too much for this introduction but yes I'm starting the tome table um that's all I got I'm just excited for it because it's a read thought about big books and I was like why was I not doing this why is this not something I've been doing for years and years and years because I love reading big books that's like my my happiness to read big books oh and i'm also like i've been reading a little life for like years now this is my like reread of it and I'm, i've been on page 43 for like a month so maybe i can read a little life i don't know anyways i'm excited for tome Topple. i just cannot wait and yeah i just want to be reading all the things and i just kind of want to be participating in all the readathons for some reason welcome to the tome Topple vlog um, hi. Okay, so <laughs> I'm on my way. I'm sorry. I'm like going crazy. Okay, I'm on my way to the library. I just spent a good amount of time last night and this morning freaking out because I thought I had to finish Clockwork Princess by today because the Indian Readathon starts tomorrow and I didn't want to be reading Clockwork Princess and reading stuff for the Indian Readathon at the same time because that's two readathons at once and I don't think I could handle that and I also just wanted to start a new Tome Topple book after the Indian Readathon but I just found out that the Indian Readathon actually starts on August 15th which is freaking great because that means I'm sorry if I'm yelling I don't know why but that means that I still have like three more days I think to read um my tome topple books which is amazing so i still want to finish clockwork princess and start a new tome topple book but i don't have to be stressing out about finishing it all today because i did have about like 200 pages to finish sorry okay i ha okay i did have about like 300 200 ish pages to finish and i'm really great that i don't have to do that anymore so i'm on my way to the library Indian Readathon starts on August 15th. Today is August 11th, day four of the Tome Topple, and I am doing great. Everything is amazing. I think I found a new love for readathons, which is great, and that's all the updates I had for today. Um, maybe I'll do a little what I got from the library haul when I actually reach the library, which is gonna take quite some time because my library is kind of far, but besides that, that's all I got, and I'm done freaking out for today! Stay Farm is there. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, so I just came back from the library, and I it's curbside pickup, so like, nobody went inside, I didn't get close to anyone. I wore my mask, and I just picked up the books from a table outside of the library, and I'm currently sitting in the parking lot because I wanted to do a mini book haul of all the books I got. I don't know why I'm like yelling. I have no reason to yell. Okay, 
So the first book I got is Heartstopper by Alice Oseman. I read Radio Silence, I gave it a five out of five stars. And then everybody says that this book is amazing and it just looks so cute inside, like look at it, it's so cute. So I just wanted to read this and then I want to read the rest, but my library doesn't carry the rest, so I'm gonna be super sad when I finish this and then I can't read the rest of the series. But I also think she posts the entire thing online. So I think I'm just gonna read it online. I had one more thing to say, sorry. Um, the color inside, like it's so pretty. I love when they do like this one color thing. I also wish all of the book looked like this where it was like all full color, but at the same time, the style is very nice. Okay, the next one I got is Felix Ever After. I've been hearing a lot about this from basically everyone on booktube and I think it's a little bit of a mixed review, but at the same time people are loving it. So I'm super excited. Uh, I don't really know what it's about, but this cover is what draws me in. Orange covers recently have just been like what I've been gravitating towards. Obviously the story as well, but then like orange covers and like look at how pretty this boy looks on the cover. The next book I got is The Bride Test by Helen Huang and I read The Kiss Quotient like a couple weeks ago and I absolutely loved it. Can this guy not park next to me please? Okay, so I absolutely loved The Bride Test. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. I absolutely love The Kiss Quotient and five out of five stars, it was amazing. So I'm gonna be reading this. That's all. Um, okay, The Namesake by Jhumpa O'Leary was the next book I got, and this is for the Indian Readathon. It is the book club pick, book, book live. It's like the book club pick where they're gonna be reading it at the end of the readathon and then talking about it. So I'm super excited. This is also like a super popular book. I'm getting distracted by people driving around me. I'm sorry. This is a super popular book by an Indian author and I've never read it and a bunch of people have so I need to get with the program. Also, it's the winner of the Pulitzer Prize. So that's pretty cool. Also, it's a major motion picture. So I should probably watch the movie too. The last book is Pride, Prejudice, Okay, the last book is Pride, Prejudice, and Other Flavors by Sonali Dev. This is also part of my Indian Readathon pick. I will hope to be reading this if I actually get to it, because with readathons, I kind of fail at them, but I'm actually super excited for the Indian Readathon because it's uplifting Indian authors and we're encouraging people to read more Indian authors, which I'm so happy about. So yes, I'm going to be reading this, hopefully. That's the end of my book haul, my mini book haul. Um, I'm gonna be hoping to read more of Clockwork Princess today. And I also put up a video uh, today that's supposed to go up at 6 p.m. It's a little Daisy Jones and the Six discussion with my friend Yumeko, so I'm super excited for that to go up. And yeah, I get to also hang out with Yumeko today at six o'clock so she'll know that it's going up then and it's great so i'm super excited for all of that and i hope to actually read today which i'm going to do so yeah that's all we're always eating pokey <laughs> you make us mad because there's no clouds in the sky and we feel like we're trapped in <laughs> you're supposed to elaborate so basically no i just feel like we're in a simulation i'm not supposed to be in here and it looks like we're in a fish tank like glitching. Not a single cloud. It kind of looks creepy. Ew, like this, that looks too perfect. I don't like it. All right, anyways, bye. Yo, 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 it's August 12th of the Tom Topple. I have read um maybe 30 pages today. I'm getting through the book. I just haven't been feeling like reading today. Uh but it's still going well because I'm like almost done with Clockwork Princess. Also, yesterday I picked up Call Me By Your Name by Andre Asman and I'm so excited to read this. I can't read it for Tom Topple, so I'm going to read it after, but, like, I'm so excited because I watched the movie, I love the movie, and Noelle Gallagher from 
the YouTube channel, Noelle Gallagher, um, recommended this, and she absolutely loved this book, and she, like, cries over it, so, like, I need those emotions, and I need them now, and, yeah, that's, that's all for today, uh, yeah, that's it. Finished the Clockwork Princess. Um, I gave it a four out of five stars. The thing I want to have a conversation about Cassandra Clare novels because I love them, but then at the same time, I just don't find them as satisfying as something else. And I keep comparing them and being like, oh, something else is going to be so much better, so I'm going to give this a lower rating. With Cassandra Clare novels, her middle feels so unnecessary in a way, just not unnecessary. Okay, I just feel like it drags on and on, and it didn't need to be a 500-page book because half the stuff that happens, like, is interesting, but it's just not too interesting to keep my interest. And I know everybody loves Cassandra Clare novels, and I do too, and I love them so much, and I they give me nostalgia, and I just love the characters, but the actual plotline and what's happening with the event and, like, how everything's unfolding isn't that interesting to me. The ending of all of Cassandra Clare's books always pull through. At the end, I was literally tearing up and crying a little bit. Not crying, just tearing up because of how like strong the ending was and how like lovely it was to read and everything came together and I was just so happy. But that just might be me with like every single book. But yeah, I like the ending. I tabbed the crap out of this. Like, I think it's because, um, I recently started tabbing, so I don't really have a scale of like how to tab or like how much to tab, but I, this is working for me. I love this. This makes me happy. Also, I tabbed all the stuff I loved, all the stuff that was funny, all the stuff that made me angry, and just it's a good time. I'm going to continue tabbing exactly like this. I'm still going to be reading the rest because for some reason, even though I have these little tiny problems, I continue to want to read every single Cassandra Clare book, so I think I'm going to be picking up Lady Midnight at one point this summer, which summer's ending. My school starts on August 31st. I'll be in my freshman year of college. I don't know when I'm gonna have time to read anymore, but it's all online, so like hopefully I'll have time to read. But anyways, I'm going off on a little tangent of nothing, okay. This isn't even a freaking like update on my reading. It's literally just, me wanting to have a mini conversation because I just had to say it. Okay, so I am thinking about buying the entirety of the Brandon Sanderson series, like all the books he's written dealing with the Cosmere, which is like his thing because I haven't read any of the books and I keep reading, reading, I keep watching Catherine Reads is what I think her YouTube is and then she started freaking out about the new book Rhythm of War that just came out and I need to read it because her excitement is fueling my excitement to read all the books so I think I'm gonna buy that and those are tomes so I wanted to talk about it in the tome top of vlog because most of those books are like a thousand pages long and I just needed to talk about it so this is me talking about that and I haven't been reading this week because I've been working my way through books for the Indian Readathon. So I thought I would just add that in to be interesting. Um... It's the next day, and last night I didn't sleep until freaking 4 a.m. 
not because I was reading Black Leopard Red Wolf. It was literally just because I just couldn't sleep. So it's currently 7 p.m. the next day and I'm freaking tired and I would like to go to sleep, but I haven't eaten dinner yet. So I'm gonna go do that and then I'm going to sleep. Anyways, I started reading Black Leopard Red Wolf and I'm also reading some right now. However, it's a little bit hard to understand. I It's not the book's fault. It's just like, I just don't, like, I can't get into it because there's a lot of characters. There's a lot of events. There's a lot of, like, moving around of, like, here's one part of the story, but, like, let's switch to something else. And then the character is, like, telling this story to someone else named the Inquisitor, which I don't really know what's happening there. But... Uh, if I don't understand it in like the next couple pages, I might read until the end of the chapter or I might read until like page 40 because I'm on page 27 right now and then we'll see if I'll keep going with the book. If not, I'll just put it down and then pick it up at a later date. It's a library book. I can pick it up whenever I want anyways. I just spent a good 40 minutes just making a stupid Instagram reel. It's not stupid. It's actually very fun, and that's why I'm making it. But my back hurts for no reason. It's freaking hard to do the transitions. I didn't think it was this hard, but it's hard. And just to, like, make it cute is a struggle. But, yeah, this is the aftermath of my little reel that I made. Um, check me out on my Instagram to see the reel because I guess I'm proud of it in a way. And... I'm tired. <laughs> Hello, um, so last time you saw me, I think I gave that little update about reading to page 40 on Black Leopard Red Wolf. Well, today is August 22nd. The arena thought ended yesterday. I only read to page 40 on that last update day where you saw that time lapse of me actually reading the book, and then I didn't read anything again because I don't have a reason. I just didn't feel like reading that book at that time, so I put it down. So, even though I didn't finish as many books as I thought I would, I'm still pretty happy with finishing Clockwork Prince and Clockwork Princess. Also, just so I have a little thing to put at the end and you're still entertained by this video, I'm gonna do a little thing of what my most anticipated tomes are that I hope to be reading on the next Tome Topple Readathon. So, these are the books. So, my goal is to read Brandon Sanderson's Skyward. I'm really hoping to get into Brandon Sanderson because I've read nothing by him, and I'm hoping that this is a good start to him and then I can get into his Cosmere series. And then I want to read Jade City. I've been hearing a lot about this, about how great the books are, and then also I've heard it's a family drama, which I'm really interested in right now. So, hoping to read this. Next book, I wanna read Stephen King's The Shining. I haven't been, I haven't read this book yet and I can't believe I haven't read this book yet because this book is so popular and everybody either tends to really love Stephen King or really hate Stephen King. So I wanna see where I am in that spectrum, I guess. So I'm gonna pick this up to start my adventure on Stephen King. I did read Insomnia at one point, however, I only got halfway through and I never finished the book and I just don't know. I don't remember anything about it. The last tome that I have anticipated reading for literally since I got it and since I heard about it, Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. Also, this book is about the size of my freaking face. So, it's also like the largest tome I've ever owned. It is so, so big. I know I'm going to really like it and... I just need to hurry up and get to it because if I don't read it now, I f I'm afraid that I'll never read it. So, I need to get to this. So yes, those were my anticipated tomes that I hope to read either sometime this year or sometime for the next Tome Topple Readathon. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I really enjoyed. I will definitely be participating on every single Tome Topple because I absolutely love these readathons. Reading big books is the best thing that I absolutely love doing. So I'm 
gonna be doing it a lot lot more since i discovered this readathon because i had no idea it was happening and i kind of just found it the day it started so i was so happy that i found it and i'm excited to participate in every single one after this all right thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next videos Thank you.